Hello! I've got my hands on the latest lab version of the CoCreate 17.0 release, and I want to take the opportunity to show you some new ways of driving design changes with 3D dimensions. With the CoCreate 17.0 release, everyone can use intelligent dimensions to drive design changes. I've loaded a model we received from a supplier into CoCreate modeling. I'll add some 3D dimensions directly to the model, just to those areas where I want to drive changes using dimensions. And if I no longer need them, I can also remove them. Notice that as I add the 3D dimensions, it's as easy as adding dimensions in the 2D world. I add two dimensions, one for the gap and one for the height. I add the height dimension using the same technique. I can fully dimension or partially dimension the design, and I can add dimensions while I'm designing or once the design is complete, so I'm really flexible in how I can use them. As we see here, I can even add them to this imported 3D design that came from a supplier that uses another CAD tool. Now I can drive changes to the geometry by changing the values of the 3D dimension, and I can choose which side of the dimension moves, making design changes fully flexible. If I pick the right-hand side of the dimension, that side can move, and the design change is made to the freely movable geometry. If I pick the left-hand side, that can move, and the other side changes. And if I don't pick a side, the change is driven in a symmetrical way. With the real-time modeling, every design change is fully predictable. Notice that I can drag the dimension to change the value, or directly enter the precise value. I can also use 3D dimensions to drive the design change across groups of selected geometry, not just those faces that I've dimensioned. Here I'll move both the whole and the outer faces in one move, while maintaining all the local relationships, like tangency. See how when I change the height of the design, the tangency conditions are maintained, and the selected through hole and faces are moved in real time in one easy step. And if I want to reuse 3D dimensions for other processes, I can. They can be easily leveraged into the corresponding 2D technical drawings, or 3D access, or viewable formats like eDrawings and XVL. I've really enjoyed using the new capabilities for driving design changes using the new intelligent 3D dimensions available in CoCreate 17.0, and best of all, they are available to all designers. The result is that these new tools and capabilities continue to make CoCreate modeling the world's number one explicit 3D CAD software system. Look out for more CoCreate 17.0 sneak peeks over the coming months in CoCreate News. We're planning to release CoCreate 17.0 in spring of 2010, and there's a rich set of new capabilities and enhancements across the whole CoCreate product family. Thank you for your time.